gang, it's Mike from Power BI Dev Tips. I'm going to go through a quick tutorial on the charts at Power BI Dev Tips. So let's go over here to a new browser. We're going to go to charts.powerbi.tips. You'll notice right when you get into the file, you have the ability to add your own data if you want. If you click this button, it'll open up a dialog and allow you to add your own data. The program automatically comes with some data for you, so you don't have to click this button if you don't want to. I'm going to click over here in the gray space to the right, and now you'll see the window where we can now start building our visuals. So quick lay of the land. On the left hand side is the data that you're going to be using to generate this visual. You can swap the data by clicking this button here. You can add new data or show the data by clicking the ellipsis and it shows you a couple rows at the top part of the file. So this is all the files have to be in CSV format in order to use it. Next we'll look over here at this chart area here in the middle. This is where you're going to actually place your charts. If I click on the area here you can see there's already a plot segment located in my chart area. For each plot segment you have, you can add a glyph. A glyph can be any, any number of these marks. So I can add a bar. We have some simple shapes here. I have a rectangle, a circle, an ellipse. I actually have shapes that we can also add. So this is just a symbol we can put on top of here, a line, text, or even images. So let's start off by making a very simple bar chart. I'm gonna grab one of the marks and I'm just gonna drag it to the glyph area and it automatically populates this. So this bar makes up or comprises the entire area. Now these guides in here are the, these little gray lines are the guides and it helps you align your bar correctly. So if I go in here and zoom in, I can drag one of these green dots, which is like a, a location or an anchor point. I can move it out into the space and it's not anchored to anything. There's nothing guiding that point. If I grab that guide and drop it up here in the upper right hand corner, see there's two orange lines appearing, now I'm able to anchor that to those lines. So if I zoom out now a bit, and now I'd like to add some data to this bar chart. So I have a numerical value denoted by this little, looks like a comb thing, but it's actually like a number line. But if I grab the value, and now you can see on various parts of the graph, I actually have areas where I can drop the numerical value. If I go to the plot segment, I can here I can add it to the, the Y axis or the X axis, or I can add it to my glyph that I just added in my glyph area. So I'll add it to my glyph, and now we can see all the bars have been adjusted to their height. Now, it's important to note here, each of these glyphs is, uh, does not change in size, but the glyphs on the actual chart do. So we can also add additional uh, colors here. So if I grab something else like a categorical value, such as city, and you'll note if I look down here lower, there's actually areas, let's see if I can scroll down here a bit more. Grab city again. You can see there's actually other areas where I can drop this information here as well. So the glyph has a number of other properties. For example, fill, the stroke width, the opacity, and whether or not it's visible or not. So what I can do here is I can actually add the city to a fill color, and then it'll be able to pick up a color and it'll try to um, give color each bar based on the city type that's in my data set. Again, if I look at the data sets, just so you can see what's going on, I have city one, two, and three, one, two, and three repeated for multiple months. We can also adjust the color by clicking the little bind data button. And you can change the colors here by clicking on the actual color themselves and you can pick different color palettes. If you want, you can also use the Power BI color palette. So I can go here and I can click some of the colors that we've already used in Power BI. Power BI, let's click the gray one. City three, let's click him and he'll be red. So now this should look very similar to what you would see in Power BI if you generated the same chart with a Power BI chart. You can also add a legend to this. And what this will do is it'll add a legend of the bars and let you know what are the categorical values that are appearing on the chart. Additionally, you can add other data points. So if I want to add the month now, I can then add the month to the axis of the chart. So dropping the month here as to the X axis, we can now break out our data by month. So now I have for each city in each month, and then the total height of the bar. One other thing we can enhance here and we can add here as well, we can actually add text to these bars or the glyphs as well. So I'm gonna grab this little text box. I'm gonna drag him in here to this area and I'm gonna zoom in and we'll see there's a one little anchor point, point for the text bar. So I'm gonna actually modify this. We're gonna grab the anchor point. And I'm gonna drag him up here towards the top of my bar, bar here. And I'm gonna adjust the text box to be above the bar. 
So I'm able to adjust the text. I'm anchoring it to the middle center line. So you can see here, if I'm grabbing that anchor, see right there, it's in the middle of the bar at the top of the bar. So this means that the text will always appear at the top of my bar. And then the further way I adjust it here, it'll adjust the text on all the pieces of elements in my actual chart. So maybe I wanna show the actual value in the text field. So now I can grab the value and then I can adjust it and now it'll be my text value. So now I have the actual numbers on top of each bar. Again, there's a number of other properties down here for the text attributes. So let me shrink up the layers here. You can now adjust the text size. So if I want to make the text smaller, I can uh, so that it fits a little bit better on my chart. You also have the ability to change the decimal places on the end of your number. So here we have 0.1 floating here. I'm going to leave that alone because this looks fine for now for my chart. You can also modify the title of your chart. Uh, since I'm going to be using this in Power BI, I typically don't want to title my chart here. I'd rather use elements inside Power BI to do that instead of this. So instead here, I'll just remove the demo and then I click on the plot area here. You actually have different plot area settings. So let me open the layers here again. You have an entire plot segment. I can adjust this. Or if I click on the chart area, I can actually adjust areas about the chart. So I can say the left, the right, and the top. So at the top, I make that 50 as well and it can adjust this. And there's my chart. If I want to export it, I can go over here to the export button and then we can export it as a Power BI visual. There's a number of properties in here you can adjust. I typically like making clear um, explanations as to where the data is gonna be going. So while this data set contains the month, this is really the x-axis. X-axis. The city here is um, basically a slice, or so I would say, um, selection or subsection, sub section of the x axis. And then you can say value, I would say height of bars. Now, when you export this, the x axis and the description here, subsection of the x axis, will also be denoted in the Power BI visual. I'll give my visual a name, simple bar chart. And then you can, if you want, you can add a description as what this chart's about. I'm gonna add my name here, my Carlo, and then this is from visuals at powerbi.tips. Clicking export, we'll now create this as a PBI viz file that we can then can go use inside the Power BI desktop file. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for using charts. Feel free to comment below and ask for any other videos that you'd like to see.